feel like I'm a Jedi getting interviewed for something. Yeah, he just came in and just started slaughtering younglings. I really didn't know what to do, so I kind of just joined in. But, uh, I mean, I didn't. <clears throat> what? What was the question? Hello. I'm here to talk about Star Wars. Star Wars Obi-Wan is one of those games that I'm not sure if it's real. Like, I have memories of it, obviously, but if you told me it actually came out, I would have said it was a Berenstein Bear sort of atomic collider situation there. I just wouldn't believe you. I played this game a lot as a kid. It's just the story of Obi-Wan as a Padawan. You're doing Darth Maul stuff. My memory of it is force pushing people off of Coruscant a lot. All of that to say, Star Wars games, Star Wars games used to take risks. I mean, look at Shadows of the Empire. Hi, Editor Will here. Two things, I wear red a lot. The second thing is I recorded this once, but the audio didn't come through and it's not my fault. I made this video to talk about Star Wars Obi-Wan. Then I changed it to being Star Wars games don't take risks anymore. Now I have stumbled upon Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire, 1996 multimedia project. It's starting to blow my mind. I was looking up some B-roll for the game. I said, let me get a trailer or something. And I got more than a trailer. I got, hey, this giant thing is happening. Prepare yourself for Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire, first of all, multimedia project included a novel, a junior novelization for Ian, a comic book, a video game, a soundtrack, trading cards, role playing game, posters, model kits, micro machine toys, statuettes, vinyl dolls, and a series of action figures and vehicles. The story introduces rebel ally Dash Rendar, who aids the heroes in an attempt to liberate the frozen Han Solo from bounty hunter Boba Fett. Meanwhile, Darth Vader continues to search for his son. Luke Skywalker, That's impossible. whom crime lord Prince Zizor attempts to kill in his plot to replace Vader at the side of the Emperor Palpatine. That is so much going on in the Star Wars universe, and they just made it. They just made it. Anyways, I'll bring you back to the regularly scheduled programming where I think I'm just talking about Star Wars games. You've got Star Wars The Force Unleashed. On the tail end of this sort of risk-taking empire, you've got an apprentice to Darth Vader. You got Yoda on the back. This is Force Unleashed 2, which is unfortunate because this game is terrible. But Force Unleashed 1, which I thought I was holding, is a very good game. What a beautiful boy. What a sweet, beautiful boy. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I still play it today. Ian and I had a blast during Extra Life playing this. I miss magic. I really do. And that seems cheesy, but I do miss the Star Wars magic. Let's play some Star Wars Obi-Wan. Okay, so game scratch to hell, but you know, there's emulators. So, folks, $40 later, and I shit, forgot to buy the game. God damn it. Bought another copy of the game. Let's hope it works. Okay. Here we go, Star Wars Obi-Wan. God, this looks like garbage still, doesn't it? I'm sorry, the emulators won't work. Okay, let's go check out these arms dealers. This is the one I remember pushing people off. Just look at this, Obi-Wan substory before episode one, talking about this gang warfare on Coruscant. Uh, there's no shoved, oh, it's, it's, uh, oh look, here's the toy that he played with when he was a baby. Oh, that's what we're rescuing, is his toy friend who's in the seventh comic book. And uh, here's Yoda's butthole. And uh, this is where I'm falling into a George Lucas impression, I think. Oh, uh, I think, uh, I think Starkiller would eat his babies in this scene. Anyways, I just, you know, I'm not a good writer like Jake. I'm not a good, beautiful person an intelligent man like Kyle. I'm not a hunk of junk like Ian. So it's a hard for me to, uh, to convey my feelings sometimes. But in this realm of reality, I'm just having fun, man. Yeah, like I said, this lightsaber is like all, it's all uh, on the stick, on the right stick. So it kind of feels, you're kind of just like, 
That's why there's really no camera control, which is kind of fine. Uh, I can hit this button to do like a quick turn. And then I can do this if I hold the white button. <laughs> That's incredible. What other game will let you do that? Just me and Qui-Gon being the best. Me and Qui-Gon, we got cool dress. Me and Qui-Gon, he is my favorite. Me and Qui-Gon, you better behave it. The Sith warrior has appeared to thwart your mission. A fierce battle through the Theed power core has led to a small power generator room. You and Master Qui-Gon have fought bravely, but you were separated from the melee. And now you can only watch. Yeah, I think my main point about at least this Obi-Wan game, it's fun, it's intuitive, it's great. Um, you're playing stuff from the movies. It's definitely not deinterlaced. Um, but the other thing I really like is they just like added backstory before the movie. Oh, suck it, Darth Maul. I'm taking you down. You killed my master? Oh, you get ready to get bitched. I'm controlling this whole lightsaber stuff with one stick and it, it honestly plays really well. Yes! Force push. <gasps> Dead. So in about three hours, this will load. I don't know if you can hear the Xbox thinking about it. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're just all jedi -ing. Oh yeah, you can, you play as Plo Koon. I love Plo Koon, favorite Jedi, best Jedi. I don't remember how to use any of the force powers. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you, I remember you. Honestly, the best part about the prequels is expanding the Jedi Order out into all these cool Jedis. Ow, Mace Windu! Your force power is purple! Your lightsaber. Hi, it's me again, and yet another set of clothing. Green this time. Listen, Star Wars games need to make a comeback. We just need more of them. There was a great period where Star Wars was just everywhere. There were books. There were comics, there were games, there were role-playing games, but we just need people to be able to make Star Wars things. I just miss the days where Star Wars wasn't as precious. I just want more games. There are plenty of Star Wars games from way back then that I didn't like either, but there were so many of them that I could play the ones I did like. So please, make a Factorio Star Wars. Make a Shadows of Doubt Star Wars set in, set in Coruscant. Make a RimWorld Star Wars. Make a Dwarf Fortress Star Wars. Make the different Star Wars games. Ah! Subpixelfilms.com is where you can go to see all of our cool links. Check us out on TikTok, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Mixer, Beam. Uh, join our Discord, it's in the description below. We'd love to hear from you and what you want to see more from us. And that's about it, so thanks for watching. Uh, go check out our Twitch. If, if we're not live, give us a follow. We'll be live soon. Happy Star Wars Day, everybody.